Anthony Bird, 232, uh, right heading 235, and report localizer established runway 27, Anthony Bird, uh, 232. Stabilizer motion. Welcome everybody, and today we're looking into one of my prepared version for tweaks that I use frequently and often get people asking what are my specs and how to get good performance just because of it. So I really wanted to shed some light on this and instead of throwing the numbers and text for you guys there to experience. And remember guys, this is not the magic pill that everybody can take to cure all of our low frames problems. So fiber frame time fraction is a tweak that you can add to your FSX or prepare config file under the main section and I'm going to have it in the description below and should show you the way to add it later on. So what this tweak is in simple words it controls the amount of maximum time the computer is actually using to render the scenery. So if we take the default value of 0.33 and because if it is defaulted value you will not have it on the uh, original config file of fsx of or prepare so the default value is 0.33 so what that means is the we are actually spending 3.3 milliseconds on maximum rendering time and that is actually way more than enough if you have a beefy PC. If we lower the number, we can get a very good performance as you might see in on my videos before. But here's the trick though. The sim will not have the necessary time to render. So flying at 37,000 feet doing 0.8 Mach will probably give you the worst scenery experience when it comes to ground scenery because of how much area we're crossing in a very short amount of time and with a huge amount of speed so combining that tweak with a fast harder drive like an SSD and an i7 CPU and honestly under prepare version 4 I had got away with it depending on the situation so sometimes I don't notice any different in the ground scenery and sometimes I do so the higher we go the impact probably should be more visible than lower altitude so as you might guys see here we have range on this uh, situation here from I would say 17 FPS to I would say 23, 21. I honestly I haven't I I wasn't actually looking into that number. I was actually trying to give you exactly the best idea of how this is. is. So the way I tested this is I took uh, I loaded so many various situations with different aircraft, different weather situation and I almost almost guys gained from at least 5 FPS up to 13 or 14 FPS sometimes so take that with a grain of salt especially we were going to apply a fiber frame time fraction of 0 0.01 so if I did the math correctly that is less than 0.1 milliseconds to load the ground scenery so I'm gonna go ahead and stop here and load the sim again with my uh, tweak applied and try to show you exactly the difference. So stay tuned. So welcome back again guys and here is the sim already loaded with the tweak have been applied and you guys can see I'm almost ranging up to the 29 uh, FPS so I'm hitting that locked 30 FPS 
uh, setting and you can guys see here we're not diving into those 17 and 18 FPS anymore so I'm gonna leave it here so you can guys see exactly how this is affecting the overall experience and I'm gonna jump outside and I mean the, the ground scenery still looks fine and I'm gonna turn probably to the right here just so I can give you a closer look to what it looks like so still looking phenomenal everything is loaded no major concerns here but I guarantee you that if we start going to 0.8 Mach with 38 or 39 thousand feet of altitude we start gonna see all the stuff that I have told you about guys so with that being said, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to add this tweak into your config file. So here we go guys, and once we open the prepared3d.config file, we can scroll down to the main labeled here, and we just have to paste whatever in the description below on this video under the main and save the file and that's it. I mean you guys can go ahead and experience with um, higher numbers and you can try 0 0.1 maybe 0 0.2 if you start having those flurries and find the sweet spot for you. So the way to get to this file is through C users and whatever you guys have it under your name, app data, roaming, Lockheed Martin, prepared version 4. And you can go ahead and type app data and it will give you exactly the same location. So you can go ahead and do roaming Lockheed Martin and you will find this file as it is here. And please, if you did get any benefit from it, please comment below, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and hope to see you in the next video, guys. Take care.